Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's about 11 o'clock at night right now, but I kind of figured why not. Uh, let's go ahead and make kind of an episode because I have been doing a little bit of, you know, a few things here and there. So I wanted to make sure I did have uh, time to show it and not forget about it. So I figured now was the kind of good time to do it. So in the last few weeks, we've actually been uh, working a little hard on some art pieces. So... I've been making a bunch of little funky things just to kind of grow coral on. Firstly, let's get into some better lighting here. So the first one I've been kind of making is uh, these little Cubone skulls. I have one right here that has been completed. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, okay, that's a little better. Uh, yeah, this little Cubone skull right here, we're gonna grow a little bit of coral on it. You know, get something to encrust, that'd be nice. The whole purpose of this is just to get it started now because uh, obviously coral does take time to grow and of course I'll be doing uh, another frag show, assuming it happens this year, at the end of the year. So I do have basically a whole bunch of months for a coral to grow on this little skull and this skull just to kind of exhibition it. And uh, you know, we might be able to sell a few. Uh, the other one I've made that I want to give a shot this year is this uh, funky little naked lady statue. We're going to cover that bit up just so, you know, I don't get flagged or nothing. But it's kind of like the one that you've seen on the internet a lot, but this one doesn't have arms. But it's a nice little shape here. Uh, it's pretty robust. And hopefully once this grows coral on it, it'll look super cool. This one's more of just an experiment, but if it works out, great. Uh, you know, something else just to kind of grow coral on. <clears throat> now, in previous videos, some people have asked me how to uh, make things like this, like the material I kind of use, and uh, I'll include a kind of a link in the description down below. Uh, shows you what kind of setup I'm using, uh, what kind of filament I'm using, but basically everything that I use to make these little, you know, ornaments to grow coral on are completely resafe. Uh, they use like a food grade plastic that is inert once it's printed, so it doesn't leach anything. As long as you don't use any weird colors or glitters, it should be fine. Uh, for example, I always use like these solid colors. Um, sometimes for the other stuff, I also have the red color, like the red sea red color, which I do like a lot. That's some good stuff as well. But for the most part, it's fairly simple setup. These guys generally run around the $200 price range. And then uh, the filament's like 20 bucks. And I could print, you know, a good, I don't know, eight, nine different things. It depends kind of what it is. But uh, it's a fun kind of addition to the hobby that's not exactly reef keeping, but, you know, you can kind of fit it in. So, yeah, if you, you know, want to give it a try, I definitely think it's kind of worth a shot for everybody. Just because even if you don't like it for reefing, you can make a bunch of different things and it's just super fun. Now, before I do end the video, um, I have already a couple in the sump right here just kind of chilling, uh, just waiting for grow out. It's only been a week, so obviously there isn't going to be any growth. Uh, but you can kind of see them back there. The one on the left is the Cubone Skull. And the one on the right is that little naked lady. Let's see if I can get a good shot right there. But uh, yeah, I've glued, I've glued, I don't remember what that's called. I think it's called like a litho something. Um, so it's basically like a uh, purplish encrusting coral with green dots. It looks really cool, it fluoresces really good. So uh, yeah, we'll give it a few months, follow back on this and uh, you know, we'll see how well they do. And just kind of a heads up, look how great this anemone looks. That is just fantastic. It's actually holding this yellow color. And uh, if you guys know exactly what kind of anemone this is called, uh, let me know in the comments. I, it was sold to me as a Jolly Rancher, but from what I can find on the internet, that kind of doesn't really exist. But uh, yeah, let me guys know what you think the name of this is. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, hopefully those grow out really well and uh, I'll be able to give you a future update that'll be super awesome just to see them fully encrusted. I plan on doing a couple other corals as well, but we'll see. But uh, as always, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.